Do you want to know how to do this edit? So, here we go. Start by getting your clip. The first step is the keyframes. So click on the first clip and put a keyframe. Zoom at the end in. Now, copy my graphic. Do the same with all the other clips. Congratulations, you have completed step one. The second step is called the blur effect. To do it, go to effects and get a bleak blur in opining and closing section. Make it half of the clip. Set the blur effect to 100 and the rotation to 75. Put the keyframe at the begin. And at the end put the blur and rotate at zero. Copy the oblique blur effect to times. Do the same for all clips, but put oblique blur object to all videos. Congratulations, you have successfully completed step two. Now let's move on to the quickest and easiest step. The shake effect from the nightclub section. Put the shake from the first clip to the last. Set the speed to 100 and range to 8. Let's move on to the penultimate step, the animation. Go to the animation of the first clip. Take the swing top left for a duration of 0 0.2 seconds. Put the same animation on all the clips in your edit. Congratulations, you are almost at the end. If you don't need the final transition, thank you for watching this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe for more content. The last step is the transition with the white bar. Go to overlays and select the white background. Place the white background at 90 so that it covers the entire surface. Then go to Mask and select Film Strip. Adjust as you like. I like to put Feather at 13. The timeline have been in the middle of these two clips. Now put the keyframe like me. Go to Graphics and Customize like me. Add this transition where you need. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials.
Thanks for watching.